Hello guys, what's up and welcome to another episode. My name is Martino and today I have the pleasure of sharing with you an interview that I did with Chris Urbanski. If you don't know Chris, he is a Polish saxophone player who's played with Giants as Brantford Marsalis. And he's won many prizes around the world in, U in the USA, in Europe and in Asia. He's taught at the Saxophone Congress in Croatia. He's been a judge at the Sax Idol competition. He's played in jazz festivals in London, in Manchester and around the world. He's a beast. So without further ado, Let's dive into the interview. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. Enjoy the interview. It's about one hour long. There's a lot of material there to, to learn from, and I'm sure I did. And uh, enjoy, guys, and see you in the next video. I was thinking, do you want to do an intro on the piano? Of course, man. No problem, man. <laughs> Welcome everyone. We I have the great pleasure of having here today the great Chris Urbanski. I'm so honored that he accepted to do this interview with us. Um, Chris, hello, welcome. Hey, 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 hey! Thank you so much for having me. That's that's truly my pleasure. Thanks. It's 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 yeah. great. Um, so for yeah. those of you who don't know, Chris Chris is a polish saxophonist. Uh, he's a jazz saxophonist, but um, um, I think um, he's a really tasteful musician you know uh he's a he's got he's got great technique and and great musicality but um he's great because he can communicate uh, deeply i think at least for me um oh. so i was just I, I have a bunch of questions here that i <laughs> that i want to ask him so that's let's cool. dive in chris tell yeah, me how how really has cool. this has this um crazy year been for you as a musician as a person you know all this mm -hmm. yeah yeah, everyone is going through the same, uh, you know, challenge over the last 12 months, you know, culture and music, especially music, you know, has you know, struggled so much. And then, but for me personally, uh, I've been isolated as, a, as an artist, <laughs> as a musician for yeah. so long because, you know, I, oh, yeah. I dedicated my, my life, my music into, uh, you know, that, that music, musical journey, which requires, you know, such a hard work of you yeah. know starting that you know mysterious thing we call music so in a way you know i've been on my own practicing playing composing and being truly connected with that beauty uh, for a you know for a long time but being completely honest about the 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 reality of you know nowadays it's it's a, it's a challenge but the challenge we, we yeah we have to face and um, that's what I say. That's what I've always been saying. That if, if you represent and you if, if you share a, a quite valuable content, it doesn't matter what platform you are sharing this on, right? So we've got so many limitations nowadays. No, no, you know, live concerts, no live yeah, performances, yeah, yeah, yeah. no traveling, no, you know, in social interaction. However, I've noticed that you know, the art, generally speaking, it's not you know struggling so much because there are musicians there are artists who they have to share their you know their their, their passion their work their yeah. body of work has to be shared no matter what happens that's the beauty of it so i've been very positive and i've oh, I've, I've been very p productive to be honest with you it's it's been you know it's been actually great time obviously nice. you know we all suffer, you know, the economy is collapsing every single day. We, we hear some news, but I, I, t I tend to stay, stay away. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I tend to stay away from, from the news. So, so I'm, I'm pretty much, you know, focused on what I do and what I've been doing for the last, you know, 25 years yeah. as a musician, as a music practitioner. So it's been, yeah, very gratifying time for me because I finally, I, I've had a chance to, you know, to work on, not even saxophone, but music generally, and yeah, then yeah, yeah. and finding that you know, as you said, finding that way of communication because we have to remember what music does and what music brings to the table. It's that way of communication, right? So the the non-verbal non-verbal way of communication, which is quite important. And um, uh, since I started actually using music as a tool of communication, I just you know, suddenly started actually understanding music a little bit more. So yeah, this time has definitely been you know uh, very helpful to 
you know Connect. find myself once again in in, yeah, yeah. in, in, in music yeah yeah, yeah. and uh, <clears throat> Um, when I was introducing, I actually forgot uh, <laughs> the the title of the series is "How Do You Practice?" So we're gonna talk about practicing the saxophone, practicing music in general. So and everything yeah. that we can we can fit in there. But yeah. going back to 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 the communication, you know, to to the to mm -hmm. staying motivated, you know, as yeah. as you're saying, you're yeah. saying that you know that you're being very productive. And uh, it doesn't matter what which platform musicians choose, whether it's Zoom or a yeah, concert yeah. stage, it doesn't really matter, yeah. you know. But then I'm thinking, um, there's a lot of people out there, you know, who are not so strong mentally, you know. Yeah, so yeah. if you don't have that human connection, I mean, this is great, you know, but if it was in person, it, it just would be yeah. just 100 times better. If you're missing that human connection, you know, for many, 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 many months, you yeah. can, you, I mean, you have to be really, mentally strong in order to you, you know you keep to. going and and mm -hmm. how how do you deal with that if you if you have it or in to a certain degree and uh yeah you know, i know what you mean obviously i can see what's happening on, on larger scale and you know within a larger picture of what's happening within our society music music community um, and so definitely you know being strong mentally strong how to maintain your you know mentality to stay productive right not being able to you yeah. know have a social interaction and obviously music that's a social thing we want to share you know our passion what we've achieved um, on you know whatever you do you want to share that's that's our you know that's that's in our dna code yeah, yeah that's yeah. normal um, however what i've noticed it's just a this time has been a huge test for each, you know, individual, you know, either you know, artist, musician, whoever, uh, I I tend to ask myself, what's the purpose of playing music? What's the purpose of you know, you know, trying to understand that you know mysterious thing, music, and uh, what was the purpose of me choosing music as a profession? Although I haven't chosen this, it just was just yeah, a random coincidence. Uh, yeah, and then. So yeah, at the end of the day, um, you know, I found a way to, you know, to get so much energy out of that music of of my passion. It actually lasts and it it gives me everything I need. In that sense, that yeah, I I feel, you know, right. Music gives you everything. Yeah, truly everything because it kind you of know, feeds it's you. not exactly. It's not about only your. Uh, experiences but also just a, for much more of a uh, that's the scientist you know that's, that's the science that's the fact that you know the vibration which surrounds you you know gives you a certain amount of energy if that energy that fuel is redirected then then your mental health it's just a it stays on a, on a, on such a high level because you are surrounded by that by, the, by this positive vibration in my opinion that's very important and then i say that's the yeah. very important test for us what's the purpose what's the reason you've chosen uh, music as a as a your main main you know job hobby whatever it is you know is it because you want to you know go out and start gigging yeah you need that interaction is it because you want to express yourself you've got you know very nicely set up ego and you want to do something and write and you've chosen this platform you yeah. know for self-expression or music is something much higher than this it actually feeds your brain feeds your body right the, the mysterious you know harmonic sequences you can actually find playing you know in music playing instruments uh, you know becoming much more conscious uh, musical practitioner so yeah and th this time was was very beneficial to answer these questions in my opinion i've always wanted to communicate through my music i didn't want to be distracted by playing random gigs yeah i just yeah, yeah. i just knew what i want to do obviously that was the time i was i had to play so many different things and but then so, suddenly i realized i'm not doing what i've always wanted to do and so i i you know i canceled everything i started doing what i do so basically i 
I've you know I started working on my own so that's why I mentioned I I've yeah. been isolated <laughs> for the last you know yeah. years you know yeah, so and yeah. I think this is this is amazing the way you were talking about music you know uh I mean you're a you're a great player um you're an amazing player and uh you're talking about communication you're not really talking about styles or or you know more of the craft thing that mm -hmm. that a lot mm -hmm. of people get lost in i think you know oh definitely like definitely chords definitely, yes. and 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 uh, and drills and and how to practice and practicing more if, you know i i i think that music is divided with a very fine line between art and craft you know if you don't mm -hmm. know your craft then your art is going to suffer you know but what oh, you're definitely what you're talking about is about the is a, everything's about the art you know and i think people should you yeah. know incorporate that feeling that you're that, that you're that vibe mm -hmm. you know atmosphere that yeah. you're saying more into their yeah. into their playing and think less a little bit less than into yeah, yeah. you know yeah yeah mm -hmm. makes sense? Uh, quite quite recently of course it does quite recent and remember everyone has a different approach to music right my approach wouldn't work for someone else's yeah, approach of course. and then and then uh, I've been trying to gather, uh, you know, information from other players, and sometimes it did not work. Yeah. At some points, you know, I've gathered so much information. Actually, I I bought so many books, uh, you know, representing the beauty of harmony. You know, how to create, you know, nice melodies around harmonic sequences. This information just did not speak to me at all. Yeah. So at some point, when I was a I don't know, 18, 20. I went to the garden, to my garden, and I burned everything. I truly burned everything. <laughs> I made a ton of books. I said, this is all not the book, working yeah. for me. Okay. All the books, all the books, all the, I mean, I just burned everything down. I love that. Just, uh, and then I said, right, let's start from the beginning. You have to find your way, right? You have to find your way to how to approach you know and how to start playing what you really want to play and what you really hear and everyone is different right if you are you know given just too much material you are overloaded with with that material it stops your productivity exactly it stops your progress so what's the point of actually you know giving that student this particular student so much information if you know exactly that this is gonna stop his progress and so as i said everyone has different approach and quite recently i started thinking of music not even so much as a as an art form okay but this is something much more than art form because that's a something physical truly physical because music it's what it's a that's intervals put in time right yeah music is the only power actually in our universe which creates order out of chaos yeah and we've got waves we haven't got sounds we've got waves right our brain is so is capable of actually taking that wave and translating onto a uh, that elect electrical signal right that's how we actually hear the pitch the actual pitch yeah right so what it does with you that it gives you that sense of that wave the wave actually creates you know that, that wave of vibration right and this is a much more of a physical um factor in music yeah right it affects your body it affects your you know mind your spirituality also so that's why i started actually thinking of, of music as a much higher you know you know mysterious power than just an art obviously it's divided by different genres it actually comes to that grant of communication and we human we started calling this an art form but what happened in the in the past music was a a message how countries were informing uh, uh, or sending information to one another by sending troubadours by by sending musicians they were singing songs that was the way of communication yeah. between people between between gover uh, governments yeah so um it led me to that conclusion that music is something much more powerful than just just an art form or what you do i'm a musician oh that's interesting but you are dealing with something much much higher than this yeah. 
yeah yeah that that's that's my my recent thought about uh, yeah that mysterious thing that's and actually it it gives so you that the understandment gives you the understandment what will you do why have you chosen this music right as a as a as a, as a platform of self expression right yeah. it it gives you just calm and relaxation because you know there's so much to study and actually gives you that sense of freedom in yeah that no matter what you do there's always something to study you're supposed to feel yeah. all right as long as you send out that message and the message gets across to your listener no matter what you play no matter what yeah. you know genre or what, whatever you know music you create if the message gets you know understood that's that's beautiful that's and it doesn't build up the, this an anxiety you know oh i have to study this i have to study that obviously craft is important yeah yeah there's craft 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 and then genius yeah. not opposite way exactly right? exactly so yeah that's, that's so my thought I, I, i'm not sure if i answered your question <laughs> man that's that's beautiful um you know my my wife the other day asked my my five-year-old son what what he yeah. felt uh when he when he listens to bach i mean because you know i've been training him since he was a baby yeah. and he yeah. knows all the composers and and yeah. And jazz players and you know all these people um and he says oh when i hear Bach, i i hear i feel love and oh wow it's amazing right <laughs> wow it's, that's that's incredible yeah it's you exactly know, it's, in our you know on our, our language you know the verbal way of communication is so limited that's why humans started hearing music right obviously we did not discover music right we started hearing it because that led us to you know the understanding of something much beyond our language which is yeah which which is so limited yeah and then going back to the to the overwhelming part you know the the amount of information that we have these yeah. days and i'm feeling it you know of a um, few years ago i was like what the hell is happening with me you know i want to learn everything yeah. but i'm not learning anything <laughs> yeah, you know exactly. and uh, which is crazy and then we uh, talking about Instagram and, and YouTube and all these platforms, you know, where you put a lot of stuff out, you know, um, mm -hmm. people have so much information that they want to, they want to learn everything and they want to get this course and that course and study with that guy yeah. and then get that PDF yeah. and, you know, but at the end of the day, they're just, you know, fishing in the sea, but they're not really getting anything. Um, yeah, yeah. So what mm -hmm. you're saying is, I think it's just beautiful. It's just, you know, yeah, I think it's so. Magic. It's, yeah it's a very encouraging for younger generation of musicians that you have to find yourself that's the way to build up your own style yeah. you have to actually hear what you really like and dive in and try to study this why do i like this because you come from this particular geographical position you've been surrounded by these people right and then maybe you experience something being a child coming from different uh yeah everyone's uh, different cultures and then yeah so you have to follow up your you know experiences then that process of learning will be enjoyable exactly. and will be much more profitable exactly. at the end of the day you will realize anyway i want to study everything right yeah but that moment of uh, finding your path in music is quite important not getting distracted i remember i've been everywhere musically speaking yeah and it did not you know let me to, you know get organized as a you know musical practitioner yeah it did not let me to understand music better you know i was like aha uh -huh, this didn't work didn't work this doesn't work and it's frustration frustration i was really frustrated i, I remember that i was so frustrated because i wasn't getting any better okay because that that path i was given or i choose you know subconsciously or i didn't didn't have any knowledge what path I supposed to choose to grow as a musician. So you were trying so different styles. That wasn't, yeah, that in a way. different, not, not even styles, not even styles, the approach, how to study music, okay, for okay. instance. Okay. That's what I said before. I burned everything. I said to myself, that was quite conscious decision because I said to myself, are you studying photography or music, right? So what are you supposed to be using, your eyes or your ears? And then yeah. I burned everything, man. And I started listening, <laughs> listening, listening, playing along with my heroes, talking about much more you know, technical 
um, yeah. uh, stuff. So I, I started playing with my heroes. I started playing when I was like 12, 13. I started playing with Charlie Parker's music. And I remember the time when I was messing around and then and uh, when i caught one simple note with charlie i said wow yeah. it made my day i'm getting closer <laughs> so know. then i switched to blue train john coltrane's blue yeah. train and uh, then i played with coltrane just randomly just wanted to mimic yeah, yeah, his yeah. playing and boom i caught two notes with john i was yeah i'm <laughs> truly understanding this stuff yeah obviously i did not because i didn't know what, what what's hap what was happening so at the at that stage when I get to the university or Academy of Music, I got there, no problems. They said, well, you don't have to study, man. You know everything. I said, maybe I play the right notes, but I'm, I truly do not know what I'm pressing, man. I, <laughs> I, I play this stuff. I play the blues. I do understand the form of every single standard, yeah, yeah, yeah. but truly, I don't know what I'm playing, man. I know that I'm pr operating within, you know, it, a given tonality but to be just you know very you know conscious improviser uh, i needed some uh, you know theory for some you know foundation yeah fundamental things and then i uh, remember that, that was so funny many you play everything yes i i know but you know i want to be consistent with this i i truly want to know what i'm pl what i'm doing right to recreate it the day, the day after, right? Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like, uh, that was really cool. So this led me to that, under, to, to the understanding that, right, that, that sense of communication was there. Now I had to actually start calling what I play. And yeah. that's my approach. I, and yeah, I was yeah, yeah. very, very uplifting approach because I, I was messing around with music, not theory too much. Okay. I was really you know, excited about playing music. I was playing music not sitting and staring at books yeah no labeling yeah. things around yeah 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 but obviously then when i got you know older much more conscious i just wanted to study but yeah. that was just a natural step forward instead of just losing passion because of that overwhelming you know amount of information you have to study in order to become much more conscious improviser so that was complete opposite and i but everyone's different as i said that was my approach yeah um i mean that's that's in, you know one of the questions that i wanted to ask you was like tips for improvising and, and how to get better at improvising and how to see yeah. you know how to see progress when you improvise but i think this um yeah this is such a beautiful thing it's like talking you know when when a baby learns learns to talk yeah. there's a there's a, at least you know two years of of them absorbing sounds and then they start Listening. and then yeah. exactly starving on books Exactly. And then they started going like, oh, ma, 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 that, whatever, you know, and then you start, then they start yeah, talking yeah, yeah, and then yeah. eventually start with the, with that, with the books, but people forget about yeah. that, you know, um, but, but, um, yeah, yeah. if we talk but more everyone's about, di everyone's different, everyone's yeah, different. Totally. So maybe totally. they're not forgetting, maybe that's the different approach and which is understandable. These people, they, you know, they, they've given us so much also because you see different angles. And you can you can get so much knowledge out of them. Everyone's different, so you have to. That's the thing. You have to find your path, because everyone's different. Every, you know, you can process music in different ways. Totally. Um, yeah, I'm not super you know fast with everything. It takes me time, but as soon as it, it gets here and in, into yeah. my my mind, my 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 heart, it stays there forever. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, cause you know, I, I come from classical, I played classical for, for a long time, the masters yeah, yeah. and everything. Then I got to a point in which I was like, you know, I want to explore more things. And now that I don't play classical so much anymore, um, I'm like, yeah. I, I looking backwards, I'm like, how wrong is the classical approach, you know, wrong, you know, you know, it's, it's, it's bad to say wrong, but it's not right. It's different. Wrong, it's in very in different. Opinion, yeah. It's very different, yeah. you know, yeah. um, it's different yeah of course if, of course it's just a yeah it's such a you know you know va vast uh, yeah. field we are talking about exactly yeah exactly. yeah classical well, what's classical yeah classical yeah yeah i did study classical music classical french contemporary yeah. repertoire on alto saxophone it led me to that conclusion all right this is the way to work on your craft yeah i just i just wanted to be free on my instruments, I, I, I 
chosen uh, saxophone subconsciously i just uh, i don't know it clicked and uh, boom and then and then i realized i want to be uh, free with my articulation and with my sound projection with that clarity on of my of my tone and its projection intonation not to sound like a musician i've i've yeah. always had that thought if you hear that i play musical instrument definitely something wrong going on <laughs> like like when you hear so great. when you hear someone singing man when you hear ray charles singing you're not thinking, oh, what a beautiful scale he's got. Oh, really yeah, cool, yeah. you know, riff on the piano. No, man, you absorb this as a full organism. One yeah. piece of music, right, given. That, when you hear Mozart's, Mozart was his melodies, like, you know, A major, uh, Clarence Concerto, right? Yeah. Man, it was, this is absolutely insane. Like you actually, you, I don't know, it exists in 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 space this piece of something exists in space that's why i've always wanted to be very clear with with my playing just to avoid sounding like a musical instrumentalist yeah i'm yeah. um, still on that you know path <laughs> that's so great so much and you know do. it's it's so funny that you say this um you know i've been listening to you for a while i mean we haven't met but um and all the the, the what you post on on instagram i i I'm always amazed at what you do, you know, and um, and listening uh, to your CD and to your, your you know, to the different um, songs that you do and and even different posts that you that you that you post post up. Um, mm -hmm. I have I have this feeling that the the one that you just described, you know, um, mm -hmm. it's 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 a very deep connection that you create with your music. I mean, you play, you can play really fast and you can play really clean. You know, if we talk about the craft, you're perfect. You know, it's it's really in the pocket. It's really good, you know, but it's it's one thing about playing super fast and no, and saying nothing, which there's, there's so many players out there and, and you just get bored after two yeah, notes yeah. and like again and again, you know, mm -hmm. you you can create like you can create shapes and colors, um, yeah. which for me is something super unique of you and um mm -hmm. for example you you tend to post up a lot of, of of these arpeggio arpeggio things arpeggio exercisers or small pieces or improvised pieces you know um and they kill me every time i'm like what <laughs> my god i just yeah. melt you know and they're just arpeggios going down in chords mm -hmm. i mean uh, uh, going yeah, up exactly. and down <laughs> listening to Mr. Weird from one of your albums, the opening of uh, Mr. Weird, it's, oh, it's guys, go and check it out. It's, it's just amazing. Um, I don't know if you want to talk about a bit more about that, whether it's, it's, a, it's a practice routine, it's a practice drill that you use, or it's actually composed music that you, that you practice and then you study. Mm -hmm. How does that work? Uh, in terms of arpeggios, I maybe uh, the simple fact that I've always wanted to play a harmonic instrument. I was pretty bad at uh, playing piano. I was so bad. My, my, my teacher really? said, man, maybe you can play the saxophone, but you are terrible. <laughs> I said, yes, I know that. And then it stopped me completely playing piano. Stopped me. Like I said, all right, so I do understand the harmony, but I won't be able to play piano. But man, there's something, something inside me like, I love piano. It's just a such a complex instrument. I would love to actually start playing piano much earlier, um, because I'm connected with this instrument somehow. Because you know the harmony is everything to me. The harmony is everything. Like it, I just 
sit at the piano and I, I just I just had fun so much just playing just you know trying to find super unexpected you know yeah. harmonic choices yeah. like that. <laughs> just and then what what happened with uh, the, the, not decision that wasn't decision I started playing actually recreating those tensions on my instrument melodic yeah. instrument which gives you just one simple line which can be boring right yeah yeah you, you've got everything here man it's <laughs> got everything here totally. the music exists straight away it speaks totally. to you that's why i love it and then on saxophone right you have to imagine what chord progression you are playing right yeah and then so it led me to that conclusion all right if i want to become much more conscious improviser obviously you have to capture the form of the piece you are improvising or on so then what to do scales of course scales everyone says that yeah but scale is you know gives you such a vast you know information and a vast you know uh, pocket of possibilities so it's not very uh, you know uh, straightforward information yeah. so boom let's get to you know foundation of the chord the triad the simple triad minor major diminished augmented then the triad up to the seventh right you mess around with two sevenths for instance or you start adding the ninth eleventh sharp and natural thirteenth natural flattened and this and then act you start hearing the chord progression of the piece we are playing it's much easier to change chords in time it's much easier to start actually capturing the form yeah and it gives you that you know possibility to start hearing that you know this harmonic content you are improvising over actually uh, based on uh, based upon the uh, the triad actually creates those lines yeah right one line gets to another and uh, obviously you have to start uh, uh, finding the passing and approaching notes to connect one code with another within the closest connection this this is completely different story but it's very very good actually to start from the fundamentals just play uh, just play the triad uh, uh, all the things you are everyone knows that about me <laughs> uh, do you know what i haven't tried the saxophone for two days you'll be fine i'm sure you'll be fine <laughs> As I said, that uh, the triad gives you everything. Yeah, uh, it allows you to change chords in time, and allows you to capture the form of the piece. Let me demonstrate what I do, for instance, with the all the things you are. Totally. <laughs> Right, 
this gives you that nice. you know fun foundation so then <laughs> It's, so I started adding something yeah. right <laughs> on top of the, uh, the, the, the triad. So it, but the foundation is there. It gives you confidence. It gives you that ability, as I said before, of changing chords in time and capturing the form. That's very important. This is what yeah. I've always wanted to do. As a, as, as a young boy, I was singing the blues. I was walking, um, you know, my dog, and then I was singing the blues. My friends, they... they they were thinking that time that Chris is getting crazy. <laughs> yes. I was, I was singing the blues. All right, that's a tonic, that's a dominant, that's the subdominant, and boom, back to the beginning, and then much more advanced forms, like A B A B A, um, A B C A, right, A A B A, and then yeah, it led me to that conclusion. That's very important. That's amazing. Right. Uh, that so, yeah, try it. Try it. <laughs> Um, yeah. there's, there's two things I want to, I want to ask you one that, that links to, to your playing and that is about timing. You've got a killing timing that if we talk about, if we go back to what we you were saying about communication, um, and, and music being above everything, you know, um, I think from you, the one, the thing that I really feel is like, you know, like a big wave of emotions coming at me it's it's a lot part of timing you know part timing just gives me goes like <gasps> what you know it's not the yeah, notes yeah, of yeah, course yeah. it's the notes and the way you play but timing just really um again makes mm -hmm. me melt okay and the other thing i want to ask you is yeah. about like like mm -hmm. practicing and how do you practice like what's your daily routine and how you practice how you can fit practicing mm -hmm. in, in your day so that's it mm -hmm. those two things mm -hmm. right so um, uh, there's no such a thing, right? Everyone's different. There's no yeah. such thing like daily practice routine. I subconsciously, you know what you have to do. So yeah. be open minded, grab your instrument, and the music will tell you, right? Because that of the, you know, the memory of that previous session you had yeah. with your instrument. And brain will actually tell you what you're supposed to be playing to, to get to another level, to express yourself, your emotions on a completely different level. Then you'll actually all right aha uh -huh. intervals for instance intervals yeah. right. i've been working on intervals recently if you don't know what to practice practice intervals you yeah. don't have to have any books yeah right? <laughs> My 
minor thirds up and down chromatically, for instance, right? And then uh, there's no such thing like uh, you know routine. All oh, right, this week I'm gonna be working yeah. on this. No, yeah. I know it, you know somehow I know right. Mm -hmm. All right, today I'll, I'm gonna be playing some you know uh, uh, chord progression, lo chord progressions looped, right? This is another very important subject for uh, younger generation of musicians who want to uh, you know upgrade their playing. You know, looping a sick harmonic sequences, not capturing the entire form straight away, not treating you know uh, uh, music and uh, the form holistically, just practicing. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Two yeah. five two five and, and and play two five two five and play on your instrument two five two five and loop it have fun with it right start from the fundamentals the triad That's one of the exercises I can share with you. Just patterns based on a very short harmonic sequences. This actually gives you everything. As a melodic instrumentalist, you 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 are able to capture the form. You change chords in time. Yeah. So everyone is different, as I say, right? If you've got an an approach that you have to set up. Um, you know, a daily practice routine with some subjects you want to study. That's really cool. Well, I refer to my, my my the past of becoming much more conscious mu music practitioner. So I have to get back to what I was doing, what I've been doing for the last you know I know twenty years. Yeah. And then so sometimes all right, maybe in terms of practice routine, what I was doing, I was trying to play, uh, analyze you know just standards. Okay. As all the things you are. All right, this week I have to learn all the things you are, for instance. So the melody, I have to play it in different keys. What I have to do also, I have to be able to perform. Like imagine the, yeah. you play a solo saxophone um, in a concert and you play saxophone a cappella, right? You have to um, right, interact within so many different platforms. The rhythm. Totally. Uh, harmonic sequence obviously and the melody represented by your melodic instrument how to connect these chords in the most you know sophisticated way to compose something on top of the harmonic sequence not, not only play chords yeah, because yeah, everyone yeah. can do it yeah yeah uh, so maybe that was part of my daily practice routine all right uh, today I'm going to, 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 to practice on this standard tomorrow on something different yeah. and truly learn the standard truly learn the standard and at the end of the day, I was recording this. Everything recorded. I've got so much, you know, information of so much data of me, you know, re you know, playing and recording myself. So it builds up frustration, obviously, at the beginning. Yeah. But that's the way to, you know, truly upgrade your playing. You start actually hearing yourself and ex start experiencing your playing from different perspective, perspective of a listener, right? Right, it's really hard, but that's I, I, you know, I encourage my you know, fellow saxophonists and musicians Everyone, yeah. who are taking lessons with me that you have to become a performer and listener in the same time, which is quite, quite, quite a challenge. But this gives you such a beautiful vibe and gives you so much energy. You invest so much energy into music, becoming a, 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 a you know conscious musician, but this gives you back 
that pays off everything. It gives you, you know, goosebumps. Mm -hmm. So in that sense of having, you know, routine in my practice, yeah, maybe analyzing yeah. melodies and harmonic sequences, not only on the piano, but also, yeah, on saxophone. Yeah. And trying to f you start slowly with the triads. Aha, that's how it goes, right? Now I've got that foundation. Yeah. I've got that foundation of, yeah, you have to play the melody you have to be able to actually you know be very original within that melodic content of the of the song and and start improvising so you start less you create you know tensions with the, within the harmonic um, you know sequence but also you start adding some you know uh, rhythmical concepts you've been working on and then yeah we could talk about this forever forever we, yeah we can we, we can you know analyze one simple standard how to truly improvise within that form and what to do to start playing very interesting lines yeah. how to work on your timing that's the second exactly part of the question so uh, timing is everything in in life in music in in comedy in 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 movies in acting yeah timing is everything but without timing music would would be just a random, you know, intervallic representation of something. So how I, yeah, I've always been, you know, attracted by that, yeah. you know, timing. And that was a, that was a struggle at some, at some point, because I heard that, you know, I've always wanted to have that timing of, you know, John Coltrane's timing was, oh man, that was yeah. so much bounce in it. Do you know why John Coltrane got, yeah, obviously, beside the fact he was a, a total, you know, uh, a genius, musically speaking, but a uh, great mu musical practitioner, very dedicated guy. Everyone knows that. I don't yeah. want to repeat myself, but, you know, what was really actually interesting in his playing, the fact that he was playing bouncy, f you know, f lines, very bouncy lines. Everyone says that. I talked to uh, Branford Masalis two years ago, and yeah. he asked me, uh, what do you think, why culture or you know charlie they 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 were so famous and they could actually s speak with their music to every single person i said because of the bounce and hip you know timing right which was so easy to actually be understood okay no matter how sophisticated the line goes man the groove is there yeah and it's it's so well organized rhythmically organized in time 
That's why even Coltrane was playing such a sophisticated, really, you know, hard to, sometimes very hard to understand, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, harmonic sequences, hard to understand for the public. And then no matter what, that was hip, just because of that simple factor, timing. There's, there's, there's no mess in it with it, right? Yeah. That's how I practice my timing. Uh, or how do you develop that. it? How do you, yeah. yeah. How do you How increase I develop, you know? Yeah. I find myself that I, I, I truly like, you know, swing music when I was a teenager. sense of two and four putting accents on two and four yeah where does two and four come from it comes from the triplet either long triple poochie kaboom genji luba leading down there Poke check up to couple cock up a one two three one two three one. Mm. Upon yeah. this, you can actually, you know, play double time. But without that ability to play the triplet, the muscles, muscle memory is not kicking in, and you actually can't hear, and you're always spitting up. You're playing up, you playing up front the beats. You're supposed to actually get that laid back and yeah. play behind the beats. So to play, play, tapping on two and four and playing the triplet allows you to do everything with your playing. <laughs> One, two, three, baba, kappa, 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 chikabo, dabo, 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 jump, jump, dabo, 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 then I swan, right? <laughs> I could sit here and, and listen to you play forever. <laughs> and, and, and so you can great. hear the changes, right? You can yeah. hear the changes easily, right? Upon this, you study this, you study this, muscle memory kicks in, and you go out. And that this is where the magic happens. Listen to Brad Meldo, Brad Meldo's trio, Miles Davis. Beautiful timing. Coltrane, completely out. But everything is understood easily. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where does that coming from? timing that he was like he could run a disco with his playing yeah. <laughs> yeah i always laugh about that because yeah his timing was so compact yeah. right and when you go right outside that you know frame of, of of that timing and the groove this where the magic happens you can always relate to the time you are coming from 
but being outside that timing <laughs> meant completely different you know expressions this is what happened with you know john coltrane's quartet this is what happened with you know miles davis's quintet yeah. with wayne shorter right this is what happens with you know uh, 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 uh herbie hancock's timing Right, he plays completely out, but you can dance to it. That's why it's so yeah. hip and interesting and understood by the public, people who are not into music yeah, as yeah. we are. So uh, timing is everything, man. Let, let me ask you something on, on timing. How important is practicing with the metronome, metronome and practicing with live musicians to develop timing? All right, you have to be comfortable with your playing, right? There's one universal platform of timing, right? You can you can practice. I yeah, I recommend pl practicing with timing, but you have to use wisely uh, the metronome. Okay. Right. If you want to achieve that proper groove on on, uh, let's call it jazz. Right? Yeah. Like it's much more of a I don't know. Yeah. The music which comes from that African roots. Uh, so if you play on one and three, it sounds very square. It's all right, but yeah. it does not represent the triplet. And triplet is everything. Triplet is in 2, 4, 4, 4, 3, 4, 6, 8, 12, 8, 9, 8. Time signature. So, yeah. 1, 2, and 1, 2, <laughs> about the one and three and two and four oh, right exactly so two and four actually gives you that bounce straight away and you can't stop playing you forget about the world and the question right yeah 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 and then yeah two four gives you that bounce boop chica boop doop not only the bounce but also it gives you so much time to predict the future of your you know an upcoming phrase because you've you are, you've got that you know relaxed calm and relaxed you know mood right and attitude it gives you so much time to follow up with the next note to yeah. predict to be focused aha uh -huh. what am i going to play in 30 seconds yeah thinking yeah. of a much longer phrase in in in, in jazz in improvisation right i know exactly what i'm going to pl uh, to play when i start one phrase Right, I know exactly how to get to that, you know, to idea. I've yeah. got at, at the end. Yeah, uh, uh, that was giant steps. I, I quite like it. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just change the mic. Oh, the mic is so awesome. That's so yeah. awesome. Um, um, yeah, so timing timing is everything and that's the way to practice with the triplets that ability to play the triplet obviously the metronome is you know super helpful it yeah. becomes a partner you know in your, your daily practice routines yeah, yeah. you can actually refer your playing and apply that playing onto yeah you know a platform which is your timing you're not left alone you're not creating just random abstract lines yeah this is what i've noticed i've got an access to absolutely you know fantastic players from all over the world they get in touch with me they ask some you know uh, uh, you know 
they seek for advices in terms of how to you know upgrade their playing their improvisation and i asked them to play and they've got absolutely mind-boggling you know vocabulary and yeah and then very sophisticated original you know language but i said all right let's apply your beautiful language onto a given form into uh -huh. into let's start playing in in time yeah they sound completely different. Like they start playing you know, 10 levels below their possibilities. So it led me to that conclusion that you have to practice in time, right? So go, going back, this refers to the, 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 the subject we've started talking about, uh, yeah, about triads. Yeah. When I, 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 I practice triads right in time, because at the end of the day, I want to use them in different in time, you know, exactly. situations, right? Right? Yeah. Just a random, you know, in just a random harmonic sequence, very easy to actually get, and to, you'll get the chance to, to grasp this idea. And I, I tap on two and four, and I've got everything I need. Right, I create the melody, I've got that, un the understanding of the, of Feedback, the rhythm, yeah. and the measure I'm, I'm playing around with, so, and you can, you can practice forever. <laughs> And on top of it, and that's what I said about Coltrane's playing that you can go get out from that f from that form, if you want, yeah, yeah, yeah. form, and then and it sounds really hip and cool because the foundation is there, right? <laughs> Timing so is everything. Um, so great, man. Man, I could I could sit here and listen to you forever. Um, before we wrap up, <laughs> um, just a very very last thing. What advice would you give to to young players? You know, wanting to make this um, a profession, or if we keep it more general, you know, to to people playing the saxophone. But I would say in this case, just playing music. You know, what advice mm -hmm. would you just give out? Uh, simple advice. I, I, I truly, f from my experiences, I, right, that's what I've noticed over the years that try to, in, if you play music, try to use your ears, right? Yeah. Don't use your eyes unless you want to become a photographer. Yeah. Right? It's, it's all right. That's the, that's a very important part. Listen to the music, man. It's just like, like studying French, just staring at books. You have to have a conversation. You have to know how to order a coffee, right? In French. And you know exactly how French sounds. Yeah. You know exactly how jazz sounds. We don't have to, you know, oh, is it jazz? Is it? No, 
who cares really about you know what genre what is it? just ab absorb music just to, in the most organic way if you like this it means that speaks to you right if you don't like someone you know someone's playing just don't listen to it it's you know and just don't listen to it and uh, as i say you know uh, much more organic approach this will be very beneficial not only for individuals but also for for the whole population that we will start listening to the music in a proper way like oh right the message you know gets across i'm you know i feel so good yeah right? and people like coltrane man there was there was there were he represents oh, pharaoh sanders for yeah pharaoh sanders I talked to him, I played with him. This this dude, he knows everything. He's not the fastest sax saxophone player. The most beautiful sound, though. And he said, man, it's ab about the melody, man. It's yeah. just, I play the melody on my melodic instrument. And he, he does play the melody like <laughs> no one else. Listen to the Ferro Sanders Quartet. You can find it on YouTube or Spotify, wherever. Ocean Song. Yeah. Listen to this, man. Listen to this, the simplicity and the beauty of this. And no wonder Coltrane choosing to to join his his quartet. Yeah. And then so I I try to I try to enjoy playing. If there's no enjoyment, your brain actually you know doesn't get that information. And yeah, exactly. at the end of the day, it tells <laughs> you that right. I haven't been entertained. Yeah. Right. Change the profession. Change mm -hmm. hobby because at the end of the day, you have to feed your brain with an information. Yeah. How to absorb information? You have fun with it. Right. Exactly. How do you want to become a historian? Because you feel that it gives you that, you know, passion, goosebumps, right? Excitement about something. So it's the same situation with music. If something doesn't work, it doesn't mean it won't work forever. It doesn't work for you for at me. this very moment. Yeah. I remember myself trying to find out the way Coltrane was playing when I was 17 was very hip and cool. But do you know what? I stopped listening to him um, so analytically, right? Yeah. I obviously I uh, I kept listening his music because it it felt right yeah. to me. What I was doing, I was I was listening to Kenny Garrett. Which has all the ingredients of, you know, Joe Henderson, another hero of mine. Actually, the first dude who was, I was like in, super into. Okay, okay. And I still find myself, especially composing, I, oh, man, I play, I play <laughs> exactly the same chords. Uh. I just play the same chords, man. Like, right? You are what you've listened to, right? Yeah, you're the, so yeah, you're the all your masters. I, it actually, it speaks to you exactly. It speaks to you right now because this is the music you grew up with. It's part of your language somehow. And I'm discovering much more, and more music, um, and then I find myself, why? Am I gravitating to, towards this harmonic progression or this, you know, voicing? Why am I gravitating towards this? How? Oh, because that's part of Joe Henderson's language, for instance, yeah. right? So, as I say, I just couldn't understand Coltrane's music, but I found Kenny Garrett, who was, has always been a super huge influence on my music. Uh, timing, yeah, yeah. probably top articulation the cleanest articulation he could could cut glass with his tongue it was so precise so, so strong and then and then yeah the sound oh man let's not talk about this so kenny garrett and the joe henderson together and it actually led me to the conclusion and helped me to understand Coltrane's music, but in the most organic way. I wasn't forcing myself. I did not force myself to actually understand it. All right, buy books. Yeah, yeah. How does that work? No, yeah, yeah. that wasn't my approach. That's, that wasn't my approach because, I mean, you know, I wasn't super academic. I've never been. It was more the of a music conscious thing. That... To me from, yeah, much more of a, yeah. Does that, you know, speak to me? If so, yeah this is me that's that that that's my that's my approach yeah. 
but obviously those you know facts is those you know different angles of approaching and understanding the music leads you to that you know f platform or position or level of un of the understandment where you can absorb much more and you start understanding much more in a much shorter you know time yeah because if you like it Do you know what i mean like absorb this, it more the, your yeah. up yeah yeah, you you like it. Your you approach more actually and will then, yeah. actually get you to that point. Yeah, totally. Your approach will get you to that point that you will you will actually be conscious enough. Aha! Why Ravel is playing this harmonic sequence yeah. here? Oh right. Uh -huh. Why Charlie is playing this dominant seventh from the sixth flattened you know thirteenth? And right. Aha! Uh -huh, because it works with the following chord. And yeah, you become much more of a an, an academic. Uh, um, yeah yeah guy which artist. who's analyzing music much more than just a yeah maybe artist more that's about craft also yeah yeah so yeah everyone is different and you have to you know actually truly ask the question what i truly like at this in at this very moment yeah exactly and i'll follow up this and then you will understand the music the music will lead you you know to get much more right in the future Sometimes I can see that overwhelming um, amount of information can kill your passion yeah. because you will realize, all right, maybe I'm not so talented in music. Yeah. There's no such thing, right? Yeah, yeah. Right. So, There's no such thing. Just a different approach. Amazing. Mm -hmm. Chris, um, yeah. I want to thank you for, 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 giving, for giving us your time and, you know, for sharing all your ideas and thoughts and and you know processes that go into your in your mind when you play and and your thoughts as as a musician you know it's just for me i've, I've learned so much it's just I'm, I'm so grateful and i really appreciate it and um what i like about what you said at the beginning you, you said kind of to sum up it's impossible to sum it up but you know to get the the key points you said find your find know what's your purpose in music and then that's the first thing that you said, yeah. you know, and then that music kind of mm. transcends all the art forms because yeah. it speaks to us more yeah. directly, you know, mm. and um, and then you said, of course, apart from everything course. that we talked about, you know, use your ears and then mm -hmm. use your ears, listen to who you like. So you actually you become a, a kind of a, a result of all the influences. So you have Joe Henderson, Definitely Kenny Garrett, result. and then you get what? Urbanski, <laughs> you know. Um, mm -hmm. So, Chris, again, mm -hmm. yeah, thank man, you, yeah. thank you so much for 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 being here. I, I really hope Thanks I so really hope to me. I really mm -hmm. hope to to meet you soon and to to hear you play live. Yeah, again, of course, <laughs> yeah, we will definitely. Yeah, yeah, maybe play live together um, and uh, yeah, doing something for the community, yeah, getting together, be... sharing our passion. It'll be uh, nice face to face. <laughs> it'll be awesome. It'll avoiding be awesome. Zoom. <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Thank you so uh, much for having me. Yeah. Thank you, Chris. That, 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 it's been my pleasure. Yeah. Thank you. Thank, thank you once thank again. You so and guys, um, thanks course. for thanks for listening to the whole interview, and uh, we'll see you we'll see you in the next video with other great players. And uh, have a great day, Chris. Once again, thank you, and have a great day, you too. Thanks, man. Yeah, all the best. Bye.